Hey, what is up, everybody? Let's get it. Finally back home. Fun Colorado trip. Uh, had a lot of fun. Met, or got to see a whole lot of friends I haven't seen in a while. It was fun and all. I, even at my gender reveal, it was super fun. But on to the next, or on to, on to today now. Uh, had fun in the trip. Want to get back to this. Want to get back to grinding this. Want to get back to put some videos. All right, let's uh, do a quick recap of yesterday. Um, I posted a three slip yesterday. Posted it on my uh, Instagram, on my Twitter, and in my Discord. As well as I posted it on YouTube on like a little com community post. Um, so if you saw those, you were able to get my slips yesterday. Uh, the perfect three slip, or the lock of the day yesterday was Kyrie. Kyrie ended up slapping his line pretty easily. And then our perfect three slip was Kyrie, Terry Rozier, and under on Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins had two points, just two points at the half. And I was like, oh, that's a lock. There's no way he scores 17 points in the second half. And he ended up scoring 20 points in the second half. So he he hit. I That's just tough. I mean, he, I, if there was any team in the league that I wanted to shut down, Andrew Wiggins from going for off for a 20-point half. I would have said it was the Miami Heat, and they couldn't do that. So um, somehow the, the Warriors lost to the Magic just the other night, and then they beat the Miami Heat. I don't know how they did that. Uh, Terry Rozier, he he had a whole lot of shots. It, late Early in that fourth quarter, he had two threes, bang, bang. They put him at 18 points, and then he threw up a whole lot of bricks for the rest of the game, and he was he was one bucket away. He was one bucket away from hitting his line. He, had eight, he needed uh, 21. He finished with 18. And then, uh, yeah, Donovan Mitchell, his team got beat by 28, and he still managed to put up 37 points. I was like, you know what, Boston, you have to stop one guy. You have to stop one guy. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, you need to stop one dude. They couldn't stop one dude. He had 19 at the half, finished with like 37. He literally had almost half of the uh, Jazz's points. I mean, it was ridiculous. He, they, the Jazz needed to stop one dude, one dude from scoring the basketball, and they couldn't do that. Um, so that's unfortunate. Missed on that one. LaMelo Ball, right there at the end, gets his 14th rebound and assist. So our only two hits yesterday were Kyrie Irving over on his points and LaMelo Ball over that 14, uh, over 13.5 rebounds and assists. But let's bounce back today. Let's get it. Our lock of the days are still slapping like crazy. So let's get today's lock of the day. And if you guys are new to the channel, all of my bets that I do every single day for every single video are all from Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the best player pop betting app out there, in my opinion. Uh, they always have super up-to-date lines. They always ch are switching the lines to make sure that it's most up-to-date as they possibly can do it. Um, I do it. I literally play Underdog Fantasy every single night. Um, that's where all my picks are going to come from. If you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy, though, um, make sure you... There's a link down in the description that I have where if you click on it, it takes you right to the app store where you can download it. And you puts in the my code, take my shot. When you put in that code, take my shot, it helps me out big time. And it also gives you a, a deposit match on your first deposit up to $100. So if you guys deposit 50 bucks, you actually get another 50 bucks for free and you have $100 to bet with just for free. So uh, super dope. Uh, make sure if you sign up, you are if you are new and you're signing up, use code take my shot. Thank you guys. Okay, I completely forgot to mention Jamal Sheed. Um, if you guys don't know, Underdog does a couple of the uh, little special things. They do special promos and stuff occasionally here and there where they give you like a special line or they do payout boosters. Well, tonight they have a payout booster for Houston Cougars guard, uh, sophomore guard, Jamal Sheed. Now, these are interesting because it's college basketball props, and I know not everyone in the world, because uh, in some some states it's illegal to do college basketball props. Here's the thing. Uh, I think the last one went under. Went under. It was like 14. He needed 17, so it was, go it was close on that last one. Jamal Sheed on the season averages 9.8 points per game. His line is set at 9.5. Here's the thing. In the tournament, he's played spectacular. In the tournament, he's gone for 10 points, 12 points, and 18 points. He's played he's played well. I mean, there's no reason to think why. Um, only one he has a hit recently. He had five points versus Toulon, uh, Toulon. But, I mean, like I said, in the tournament, he's been playing really good. There's no reason to think why he can't continue to play that well in the tournament. So I am going to go over 9.5 points tonight for Jamal Sheed. Uh, the Houston Cougars. Um, I know again, not everyone could do that payout booster, but uh, but the people that can, I'll throw it out there. Uh, if I could do that, uh, if I were to throw in this payout booster, I would go over on Jamal Sheet tonight. All right, baby, coming off with the lock of the day. Let's get it. Come on. And this one actually changed because of some recent news for the first time ever. Some recent for me, me posting a later video. I like to post my videos around one o'clock central time, around noonish, um, because I like to kind of get the up to date lines and. Hey, an injury happened that kind of affected this uh, lock of the day tremendously. So, actually, this player has actually had a lot of success versus this team, surprisingly enough. Um, it's going to be coming from the 7 o'clock game, Washington versus Milwaukee. Give me Kristaps Porzingis! Give me the unicorn! Giannis, or excuse me, Kristaps actually in his career, he's played the, or his last three games, sorry, not his career. In his last three games, is actually averaging 22 points per game and 13 rebounds. Crushing that 28.5 points and rebounds line, because that's the one we're going for tonight. Tonight, the Wizards do not have Kyle Kuzma, and they obviously don't have Bradley Beal. So who's going to be the number one scoring option? It's going to be Przingis. Do the Bucks really have anybody that can guard Przingis? Not really. Uh, I imagine they're going to start him at center. Um, so Brooke Lopez is probably going to be on him, but Brooke Lopez won't be able to hang out with him on the wing. Um, 28.5, I, I think, is a little bit disrespectful, honestly. Um, 
His last couple of games, he's also been playing pretty well. Uh, his last game, he got a minute in minutes increase. It was the most minutes he's played so far with the Wizards. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what's the news on that. I don't know if that was on purpose or if they just um, they ha let him play just a little bit further into that game. But Kristaps Porzingis in his last couple of games versus the Bucks, 26 and 11, 26 and 17, absolutely eats the glass as well as gets his buckets. He's the biggest guy out there on the floor, seven foot three. So I anticipate Kristaps Porzingis to have a huge night tonight versus Milwaukee. Next up, a guy we kind of bet on a lot on this channel. Give me CJ McCollum. Now they've got a points and assist line, and that's the one I'm literally I'm a uh, I'm licking my chops at a little bit here. Um, it's at at thirty point five. So in a perfect world, do we think that CJ McCollum could get twenty and six or twenty two and four? Like absolutely. Uh, looking at his last ten games, um, he's literally split it right down the middle, 50-50. His last ten games, thirty three points and assists, thirty three points and assists, twenty four. 30, 40, 43, 33, 28, 26, and 30. A couple of games coming up, just an assist or a bucket short there. And in a couple of those games, there were blowouts. Um, one time, they blew out the Spurs big time. Um, they got blitzed by the Suns right at the end of the game there. Those games, he, he probably would have hit. Uh, also, in their last matchup versus the Bulls, he had 29 and 4. Um, so, he would have also hit his points at assist line in that game. That's kind of the line I'm anticipating him to get tonight. Um, I don't see why CJ McCollum couldn't literally just get, I mean, really even like, 30 I, I think he could crush his line with just his points alone but he's been passing the ball fantastically he's averaging 7.6 um assist point per, assist per game in his 16 games with the pelicans um so i'm anticipating cj mccullum to crush that line tonight um caruso's he's on a minutes restriction so he's not going to be able to be out there guarding cj mccullum as much as probably they would like to um, but this one is only a two point spread. It's his two, uh, two points spread, a 225 total. So a little bit of a high scoring game. Um, and also, a game they don't anticipate to be a blowout. So I like CJ McCollum over on that points and assist line. All right, next up, we have an interesting one. Give me under on 8.5 assists for Nikola Jokic. Jokic hasn't hit this line in seven straight games, as well as only hit it three of the last 10. So he hasn't really been, he's gotten close though a couple of times. He hasn't been necessarily facilitating the ball as well. I, I don't even want to say facilitating the ball as well. He just hasn't really gotten the assists lately. Um, so I like to see that as far as we me going wanting to go under. Um, let's see here. He also I, they take on the Suns tonight. The Suns have great perimeter defense. Devin Booker at times a really good defender. Mikel Bridges, Jay Crowder, those guys are great defenders, great wing defenders. They also have a good center in, in the middle. I don't anticipate um, when the when Jokic gets his assists, it's him getting the ball in the post, getting doubled, and finding the open man. Right. I don't anticipate them to leave to leave off, get help off of uh, anybody else onto Jokic. I think DeAndre Ayton can take him one on one. So I don't anticipate there to be any doubles off of Jokic for him to find the open passes. So I don't think he's going to hit his assist tonight versus the uh, versus the Suns. I don't anticipate that being a matchup where um, they need to help off of, you know, help off of Will Barton to leave him open for a three for Jokic to find him to hit uh, the easy assist. So I'm going to go under on that 8.5 assist for Nikola Jokic versus the Suns. I think this one's a this one's a sleeper. Okay, normally this is a guy that we do a lot of betting over on in this channel, but today. I am praying that they do the same exact game plan they did against him last time. Give me under on Darius Garland's 23.5 points. Here's the thing. Like I said, last time they absolutely did everything in their humanly possible power um, to stop Darius Garland last time. He only had 17 points. And historically, they've also done a really good job of holding him down. Matchup prior to that, 22 points. And the matchup to that, 21 points. So he hasn't hit his points any time he's ever played the Toronto Raptors. Here's the thing, though. If you're not a guy that likes to go under, don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to say under on that 23.5 points is not a bad move at all. Here's the thing. The assists is another one I'm really looking at. You go over on this 10.0 assists. He has been passing the ball. I mean, like a man possessed lately. Um, honestly, I'm anticipating kind of the same thing that happened this time around when they played the, the Raptors last time around, he had 10 assists. So he would have, he would have just pushed last time, but they were doubling him like crazy. So it just it led to him being able to pass the ball so much last couple of games though, assisting the ball for Garland. 17 assists, 12 assists, 14 assists, 13 assists, 10 assists, 13, 10, 19 assists. He's been passing the ball like a freak, honestly. Um, hitting that line or pushing in eight of his last 10 games, it's not a bad move if, you, if you're an over guy, if you hate just doing unders to go over on that 10.0 assist. I'll flip back and forth between it, honestly. All right, next up, I got an under for you guys. I got an under for Zach Levine under 25.5 points. Uh, now, I know DeRozan's doubtful right now, so this one might fluctuate a little by the end of the day. But right now, at the moment, I'm I'm seeing this. It's at 25.5. He needs 26. Here's the thing. This is only this should be a close game. Should be a fun game between these two teams, between the Pelicans and the Bulls. Today, Zach Levine will be taking on Herbert Jones, I'm assuming, defensively as his matchup. Herbert Jones, whether you guys know who he is or not, he's a rookie for the Pelicans. He is the seventh best ranked statistical defender in the entirety of the NBA. 
he has held like elite scoring all-star scores on the season to a combined 20 for 78 shooting from the field, like 20, almost 20% shooting. He is locked up. He is locked down tonight. He takes on Levine. Who's a elite scorer once again, but he, I, I feel like Herbert Jones is going to have this matchup. well on lockdown again today. Should be a close one between these two teams. If they're smart, they'll put Herbert Jones on Zach Levine, especially if DeMar DeRozan doesn't end up playing. This one could fluctuate though. It just kind of depends on if DeRozan plays. So at the moment when DeRozan is doubtful and Levine is the number one guy at the moment, I like the under for Zach Levine uh, with this matchup versus Herbert Jones. All right, guys, and those five are kind of what we're going to be rocking with for now. Um, at the time I'm recording this video, still no uh, Grizzlies Pacers lines at all whatsoever. No Bucks lines, no Suns lines. So there's still quite a few teams and, and lines still really not out um, at the time. So at the time being when I'm recording this, this is kind of what I pulled away and I'm really liking here. So let's get into our perfect three and five slips. All right, baby. Perfect three slip. Of course, we got to have our lock of the day. Kristaps Porzingis over 28.5 points and rebounds. Next up, we're going to add CJ McCollum's 30.5 points and assists. And of the next three, we're going to go with Darius Garland, over 10.0 assists. Again, like I said, I think they're going to do the same thing as they did last time, but they're not. Um, and historically, he's not really scored well. So if you want to fill in, fill this one in with his under on points, it's not a bad idea. But I like his assists tonight, so I'm going to go with his assists. And the perfect five slip will be our exactly our three slips. Perzingis, uh, Garland, and CJ McCollum add the under on 8.5 assists for Nikola Jokic and the under on 25.5 uh, points for Zach Levine for our perfect five slip. Uh, this is definitely going to be a day where you're going to want to follow me on Instagram or going to want to follow me on you know Twitter or Discord because this is probably maybe going to change some of these plays. Um, I know if DeRozan plays, it'll change the Levine play just a little bit. Um, and we have no Pacers or Grizzlies lines at all or anything like that. So uh, those might get some ones that I like. But for now, uh, our perfect three slip will most likely stay together of Kristaps, CJ, and Garland. But the five slip might switch up just a little bit. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, once again, thank you guys. While I was over on my trip in Colorado, I did hit 2,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Ever so close to uh, just really doing this full time. And I can't wait to finally do that. Um, and that's all thanks to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, with that being said, let's get this money today. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.